Welcome, Aries, to your 2019 yearly reading. I'm using the Angel Tarot along with the regular Rider Tarot deck. And at the end, you're going to be given an oracle message to tie in this reading, to tie in this year of 2019. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos. Please be sure to click on the bell so that you get notified every time my cards go out on YouTube. If you would like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I welcome you to click on that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer. So, let's get on with our reading, my dear friends. Starting off <clears throat> with January, and this is January here. You've been given a card that often scares people. You know, they see the swords uh, in the heart, and often it has to do with betrayal. It has to do with somebody walking away. It has to do with somebody who has hurt you deeply or broken your heart. But it can also show that maybe it has to do with the energy that's been around you, circumstances that have been around you, because it is the air card in the angel tarot. And that tells me some of you have been dealing with justice and injustice and being judged and having to defend yourself. And it's been going on for quite a while. This shows me that the healing process is now beginning. Okay, this is also a card of healing. It means that you're, you have had a very bad past when it came to feeling that you've been walked away from, that you've been deserted, uh, that you've been judged uh, you know, improperly, uh, and that some of you in a relationship perhaps have been actually broken hearted. But it is a shift now. This is a healing process and that's what the, the three of air talks about. It is a healing process that is going to take time. And often it has to do with forgiveness, forgiveness of ourselves. Don't judge yourself so much, okay, Aries. Things happen in your life. Sometimes we make, you know, there's, there's bumps on the road. Uh, you know, speed bumps that slow us down and we have to stop and catch our breath and look back at maybe things that we would have changed. Uh, it's dealing with yourself. It's dealing with what should I have done to make this better. It's dealing with, you know, never again will I go through this. And it's learning to trust your own intuition, okay? Not repeating the same mistakes because I do see that this part is over. Now you're starting into a new year, 2019, and this is the residual energy that you have had to deal with. And it may call, fall over into January when you're having to still deal with situations. People around you, it isn't necessarily a love partner. It can be people around you that you felt very closely linked to, that let you down, that have not been loyal, that have betrayed you, that have walked away, perhaps ghosted you, turned their back on you, but you're healing now. You're realizing what's important to you, okay? You're realizing who's important to you. You're realizing what direction you need to go and make yourself happy. So take all the time that you need in January to get over this that you've been dealing with in the past. Let it go and learn to forgive. Forgive yourself and forgive others so that you can hold your head up and move forward into this year of 2019. So let the past go. Start the healing process. In January, things are going to change. Energy shifting. Things are going to change, I see, in your life. You've been dealing with this issue. Fortunately, this is the only, I think, the only air card that you have in here. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's the only sword you have in this reading, Aries. So this is good. This is the past. You're going into January now. Let the healing process begin. Now, moving on into February, you've been given strength. Okay? And, you know, this is all about inner strength. This is all about digging deep, going to the root uh, chakra, looking deep into your soul, this is, you know, yourself dealing with your inner self, okay? Dealing with yourself and others now or any challenges coming into you. Releasing the past and letting go of any harsh judgments. 
It's about, again, forgiveness. Just like when you started into January, the healing process has begun. There's going to be forgiveness coming into here. Uh, you forgiving others and others forgiving you. And it's healing. It's moving forward. But it's looking at life uh, with a perspective that, you know, I'm not going to get mad anymore. I, I release all that uh, harsh judgment that I've had. And others around you that are going to do the same thing. This is you being strong in the face of adversity, Aries. Okay, I know these messages seem pretty, pretty profound for February, but I also know that a lot of you Aries have been dealing with some real sword energy, some real air energy. A lot of you, it has had to do with justice, it has had to do with legal issues, it's had to do with, you know, having to defend yourself. And of course, some of this is going to show its effect at the end of 218, it's going to overflow a little bit when the healing process starts to let things go. So stay strong, Aries. Be strong in a more gentle, more compassionate manner. You know, you've heard me say, honey's better than vinegar when you're trying to attract the bees, okay? So please know that you can deal with the, with any adversity. You can deal with anybody coming in uh, right now that may, you know, you're healing still. You're, you, you realize that your path is opening up to you. And now you can dig into your inner strength and let it go. But the only way you can let it go and heal is to do it with compassion and do it with love and do it with kindness. That's what this talks about. Letting go. Forgiveness. Okay, so I can see that as you go into February, Aries, you're still going to be healing. You're still going to be getting over, you know, the past, the things that have happened to you in the past, but you're healing now and you're able to deal with that. And it takes time. If you're, you know, things have been pretty traumatic for some of you, Aries, uh, in your life this past year. And you're not just going to snap out of that immediately. So know that it shows me that it's going to. That you're starting into that process in the beginning of this year of 2019. Now, here we go on into March. And March is a wonderful card because you've been given the Four of Rods. And that's all about abundance coming in. Okay? That's all about things looking very good. Things are improving now. Uh, you know, often fire has to do with, you know, the wands, new growth ready to take action, knowing you have the resources to do that now, your freedom to do that now, to be yourself and go in the direction you want to go. Looking on the horizon now of a more promising future for you. You've done the healing here, okay? January and February, you were still dealing with residual from 218. Now you're starting to move forward on your path and you're going to see action taking place. You're going to see new growth coming in. You're going to see a new future coming in. Things looking very good. You you need to have patience, okay? You know, you're waiting there. You're looking on the horizon still in March for things to come in. But I'm telling you something. Now you're prepared, Aries, to stand there and look towards a promising future. Look towards a future where you can now make long-term plans. You've dealt with this, okay? January and February, and last year you dealt with this. The healing process has begun. You're learning to be strong and look at people with forgiveness and them with you forgiveness, okay? Staying strong, but digging deep into your inner strength to let things go, okay? Let things go so you can move on to this beautiful new future. I mean, fire cards are self-development. They're all about you and where you're going to go on your path now. March is starting to open up and becoming a very, very positive month for you. So I do see you looking towards your future. Some of you may be looking towards a job, <coughs> excuse me, a new future there, a new partner. Uh, some of you may be looking actually at a new residence, uh, looking towards the horizon, you know, where you're going to be living next. But I do see this as a beautiful, beautiful card coming into you for March. You've dealt with this, <clears throat> this situation here, and now you're starting to open up and abundance is going to come in. And please be patient because I'm saying when it comes in, this is all about you being able to look towards your future and be able to make long-term plans. April. Let's see what the spring's bringing you in, my friend. Well, how lovely. You've been given the magician. And, of course, a magician is a magician in both suits and both decks. But uh, this is saying that you're ready now. You have the time, effort, and resources coming into you in April to, to make things happen. Make things work in your favor. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to have the ability to manifest what it is you want now. You know, your future was being shown to you uh, here 
uh, in, uh, in April where you're able to realize you're going to be able to long-term plans, you're going to be able to move forward on your, on your path. And now here, you, you're going to be able to do that. This is showing me that it's happening. He's got his hand up in the air. He's got all his, his, his uh, resources around him that he's got available at his hands to, to walk his path where he wants to go. And the infinity sign, you know, the beginnings and the ends of things full circle coming into you. So know that you have that ability almost now in April to manifest what it is you want. Things are starting to fall in line in a much nicer way for you, Aries. Okay, gets better and better. Look at this, January, February, March, April, May. By May, you have the Ace of Water. That, my friend, is the Ace of Cups. So this is an offer coming in of compassion and love and happiness. This could be, you know, the turnaround in a relationship with you, uh, you know, with your significant other, with your love of your life. This is showing me that things are starting to blossom there, that, you know, you've been given that beautiful gift by the dove of love. Now you're going to be able to express that love openly. It's all about the resurgence of a relationship that maybe you haven't been able to uh, give 100% to for whatever reasons the universe has had, to, you know, has put up obstacles and you've had to deal with those. And, you know, it's all learning lessons, Aries. So I do see things turning around in May. Beautiful, beautiful month of May. And, you know, for some of you, it may be falling in love with someone new. It may be the resurgence of being able to fall in love with your significant other again and show them how much they mean to you. And they're going to reciprocate with it. It's all about moving too, moving to a new area, moving to a new home. We talked about that. We talked about that here with the Three of Wands. We talked about that, okay? The Three of Staff, Three of Wands, whatever you want to call it. You're looking towards a new place to go, a new place, a new future, a new home. And that's what this talks about, my friend. This talks about moving, moving to a new residence and doing it with the one you love, the one that means and matters to you the most. So it's great. It's the resurgence of love. It's the, it, it, this is divine source sending you uh, and the universe sending you this beautiful beautiful soul message that you are going to see this happening in May you're actually going to be able to be in a new home a new residence with the one you love by May things are starting to look up right from March and April so you're planning you're planning your move okay and by May you're making it now let's see what you've got in June this is the first half of 2019 and this will be your second half of 2019 so you've got the page of Pentacles so you're going to be getting uh, you know really good news uh, the page of Pentacles is often about um, you know abundance coming in and you remaining grounded waiting for this process to occur uh, it's starting fresh we already talked about that. We talked about that here with this Ace of Cups, moving to a new home, uh, getting that, uh, that offer of love and the renewal of that love in your life again, being able to share that with your significant other that you love the most. Uh, this talks about, you know, beautiful, beautiful, successful time. This talks about, you know, financial matters in your life improving as well. I do see some of you need more challenges. You've sort of uh, been in limbo for quite a while, Aries, and now you're ready to step out, go in your new direction, and you want, and that includes, because this is an earth card. Earth cards have to do often with our, our the material, well, it is the material side of our life, but it often has to do with our jobs, careers, and professions, and how we, we do that, and how we bring that material part of abundance into our lives. And this talks about this. This talks about good news. This talks about wanting to do something more challenging in your life. Uh, you know, you may be taking on more than one job. They show me that you have sort of double opportunities coming into you, Aries. One will be working for someone else and one will be working for yourself. Um, I do see you're looking into something new that may be self-employment, that secondary job that will lead up to you being self-employed, you know, whether it's consulting, whatever it is. I do see that some of you are going to be juggling. Um, I know this isn't that card. Uh, you know, this is the Page of Pentacles getting good news about finances, okay? So you may actually be, uh, you know, being offered other more than one opportunity coming into you uh, the month of June. 
and um, then you're going to have to make these decisions, but I do see it's all good news when it comes to finances. Now, let's go to July, and July is the Four of Earth, which is the Four of Pentacles. And basically, this is you holding on, okay, holding on tight. Finances may have been pretty hard on you this, you know, this past year. Money hasn't been as plentiful as, you know, you had remembered it. So you're holding on. Um, also, it's about you holding on to residual energy, letting that go. Um, unfortunately, it shows me that you're getting these reminders that keep popping up, whether it's in, this, in the form of conversation that people bring in, whether it's just you in your head, you know, losing yourself in your headspace, thinking of what was, and, you know, clear your head, my friend. Don't hang on to that energy. Let that, that past energy go, because this is a brand new year, Aries, okay? This is all about holding on, and you know what? I do see some of you will be holding on to your money, being more frivolous with your money. Uh, there may be some, uh, you know, previous commitments and debt levels that you have to clear, uh, you know, but I did see, you know, with the page of, of pentacles coming in, this is the four, but, you know, the Page of Pentacles says you're going to hear good news about money. So, um, you know, let go of the negative energy and uh, realize that, you know, you can, you can enjoy life a little bit more now. So, also giving too much of your time. They show me if you're too frivolous with money, you're giving too much of your time as well. You need to allocate some time for yourself and step back and, you know, do some me time, okay? It's okay sometimes to say no uh, when everybody's coming down on you and you're the kind of person that wants to step up and help everybody all the time, but that's not possible because what happens is you get depleted and you get exhausted and then you get resentful. So know that, you know, you can't give 150% to everybody all the time. You need to take time for yourself, okay? Step back and do some, uh, you know, self-care there. Uh, those of you that are, you know, hanging on to that money, hanging on to that energy, hanging on to the past, you know what, what happens is you isolate yourself or you hermitize yourself, as I say, and you lock your feelings away or, you know, you, you put your money tightly away, you hold it tight in your fist and you don't enjoy anything in life. So know that, you know, you can be, uh, you, you can let go now and then and be able to have a little bit of, uh, you know, spending money for yourself for all the hard work that you've been doing. But I do see you chipping away at some debt here, Aries. But please let go of the past. Let go of uh, those feelings that you've been carrying of the past to move forward, okay? Alrighty. Now, July, you've been given the King of Cups. And this is a great card. This is a, a water card. Now, this King of Cups may be um, someone coming into your life who is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. They may be coming into your life, Aries. And um, they're the type of person uh, that maybe you haven't had around you in a while. There may have been some separation. There may have been some division there. There may You may not have been able to, uh, you know, communicate with them 100%. And now you're able to do that. You're clear. Uh, you know, things are looking up. You've got the cups, which is, you know, often to do with emotions and love. And I do see you're going to open up your heart and mind to those around you again. Know that, you know, you may be getting some advice here from this king. And again, he's a water sign. He's a cups. He's a, he, he's a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. I know this is a king. It could be a woman as well. You may be going to uh, for advice. Know that you're going to receive this advice because it's heartfelt. And they're trustworthy. So you'll be able to believe and listen to them. Um, I do see some of you are going to be giving back. Uh, you're going to be starting to give back your, your own, some of yourself, your own emotions, your own love, uh, attention to someone that perhaps you haven't been doing that with. And now you're getting able, you're, you're freeing yourself up. You're, the, the universe is freeing you up now. Divine Source is freeing you up now in 2019 from last year, which was challenging for you, Aries, some of you, Aries. So know that you're going to be able to do that now. But it's also, you know, giving to charity, doing something. You may be getting involved in some sort of cause where you you feel you want to give back to those that did stand by you, those that were loyal, those that were, you know, your true friends and family. And you may want to thank them for that. You're going to be able to give them what they you feel in your heart they deserve. So now we're going into, okay, where are we? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so we did June, July, August. Okay, so I think we've made a mistake there. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That was August that I did. So now we're going into September. So 
Please ignore what I've said. You know this was January. So count over, okay? And now we're going into, I get so involved in my readings and my energy that I send out there that I just think of the messages that they're sending me. So we're now going into September. So we're going into the fall, my friend. And you've been given the 10 of Earth again. So I'm only human, okay, guys? So <laughs> please take these messages as they're coming in. So this is a great card again. I mean, this is the pentacles. This is all about abundance coming in and being grounded and starting fresh. Look at all of this. Look at all these pentacles. I mean, they're coins. This is abundance coming in in all aspects of your life, in your home life now. Things are turning around by September in the fall. And you're going to be able to enjoy life and be more comfortable, be more relaxed with what's around you. I also see that things are shifting and turning around for you financially, okay? Not only just in your personal life and your relationships and your family life and your friendships, but also in your finances. Things now are starting to turn around by September, by next fall. And you're going to be able to now enjoy the little things in life. You're going to be able to relax. You're going to be able to put your feet up now and then and say, Phew. You know, finally, everything's shifting better for me. Everything is shifting better. So things will be improving for you by September because we've been working up to this, okay? Working up to this. Great card. And what better to come in after that is, you know, October, you're given the release card. And the release card, or the death card, is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new one. Okay, this is about you moving on now, looking in a new direction, being able to end a phase or a situation in your life in the past. You finally, things are working out for you, Aries, now. And I do see that, you know, releasing is often letting go, letting go of people around you that no longer serve you, uh, you know, friends perhaps. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, we even have to walk away from family members, uh, at, you know, that aren't serving us anymore and go in our new direction. Only we can make ourselves happy. And, you know, it, it can have to do with relationship transitions and moving on in a new direction. Closing, uh, you know, that chapter, that part of your life from the past so that you're moving in a new, fresh direction. Great month. I do see that, you know, some of you will be letting go of that energy uh, that's been around you in the past as well. The energy that circulates around you. Now you've been given the six of earth and this is a great card. This is, um, you know, uh, you know, this is a two sided uh, interpretation here. You know, he's giving to one and the other one's looking up and saying, well, what about me? Um, this is all about gifts of money, time or effort. You may not be getting 100% of what you may be wanting, Aries, uh, but don't look a gift horse in the month mouth because it isn't always money that we uh, we need to look at towards as, uh, you know, uh, an abundance thing. It can come in the form of time and love. It isn't always, you know, an effort. So maybe you're getting time, uh, the time that you need. Maybe you're getting recognition for the, the, the successes and, and, you know, the things that you've been able to do and, and the challenges that you've overcome and the hard work that you put out there and your gifts, you know, what you do. So it isn't always money, my friend. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Sometimes we, we don't get 100% of what we want, and that's where compromise comes in and cooperation comes in and being a team player comes in. So I do see that, you know, you're chipping away. Some of you are paying off your debts. You're being able to clear that now. And some of you are getting paid what you deserve, okay? You're going to be receiving the monies that you deserve for the hard work that you put out there. And that's November. That's before the end of the year. So now you've been given the Ten of Fire, which is the Ten of wands or rods and i do see that you know things have been challenging for you you've worked really hard to get where you are at the end of the year in december it shows me that you're working very very hard towards this goal and sometimes you know you just put your head down and you just push forward but sometimes it's like you've got resistance happening and this is what this shows but know that you have all this abundance and the new growth and the new possibilities and the new direction and all of this coming into you um, you know, sometimes we get out of balance and we need to think about our priorities and not overdo, okay? Some of you need to slow down a little bit by the end of the year. You've been pushing very, very, very hard for a goal and now it's the end of the year. Put your feet up and enjoy Christmas. Enjoy the family around you. Enjoy the abundance and the efforts that you've made that has come into you because of your hard work that you've been doing. Um, if you don't 
if you don't allocate some of this work to someone else or, or reschedule appointments, uh, do a, make out a priority list, uh, the ones that are most important, and you're trying to do too much at one time, it, it's going to burden you down just like this picture. It's going to burden you down and it's going to make things go even slower. So please know that you know you need to take that in consideration by the end of the year. Some of you it may be crunch time. You may be on schedules. You may have to do things and you're pushing yourself. So don't allow this to create stress uh, related health issues. It can and they can lead to physical issues. So this is being able to step back, take a deep breath, say okay I have to write out a priority list here. I have to, you know, prioritize what is most important that I have to do and the rest I will take into line. They can stand in line and wait for me and I'll get it done when I get it done. So this isn't the card of responsibility. This is a card of realizing that you can't push yourself so hard, Aries. Um, you know, cut yourself some slack, okay? Realize that, yeah, you've, you've had, you're very responsible. You've had things that you felt you needed to do uh, and you were honoring them, but you can push yourself too far. So please, Aries, realize it's December now, the end of the year, and you need to put your feet up and be able to relax a little bit too so that you can get these jobs done. But I do see that there's others around you that are going to step up and you can allocate some of this workload to them and accept their help if they do step forward and say, you know, I can give you a hand with this. Uh, you know, just tell me what you want me to do. And don't be so proud not to do that. Uh, if it's a matter of you having to instruct them what you want them to do and how to do that job for you, they're willing to do it. So please realize there's others around you supporting you in December and they will be there to help you do this. Okay, Aries, that is your year, January right through to December. Lots of new growth happening here, things turning around, love coming into your life, letting go of the past hurts and the past uh, negative situations and phases in your life, and things are starting to improve here. But don't push yourself so hard at the end of the year, okay? You've been working towards this goal. Aries, and it's going to come to fruition because it's all good. That's once the healing and the past is let go, things started to improve here um, amazingly. Now, let's see what your final card is here. Well, you've been given Cupid. What a beautiful card. And this is all about knowing that love, you can open your heart now, uh, that love is back in your life again. L a love like you've never ever felt before. This is a beautiful card, Aries. Being able to share your love and your intimacy with someone who does it and reciprocates all that emotion and love back to you. You're being sent this. Divine Spirit and your angels are sending you this love from them and this person in your life that's been there that perhaps you haven't had the chance to turn around and really look at and realize that they are the one that you should be spending more time with and sharing your emotions with and your cups full of abundance with this individual. Cupid is a beautiful card. The universe and the divine sources and your angels are sending you this message that this will be the year. It will be the resurgence of a beautiful, beautiful relationship. Well, my friends, Aries, I wish you a great year of 2019. You've had struggles, but things are improving as you go along throughout the year. Just don't push yourself in December so hard. I know it's crunch time. I know there's deadlines for a lot of you. And just realize that you do have the help. All you have to do is ask for it, okay? Beautiful opportunities coming into you here. Abundance in the form of money, okay? I do see that, you know, job prospects, opportunities coming into some of you in the year of 2019, you know, doing what it is you want and getting compensated for that. Beautiful, beautiful year. Let go of the past, my friend, in order to look ahead on your path here and see the abundance coming into you in this new year of 2019. Well, Beautiful Aries, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful year of 2019, and I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friends.